What's good, Daily Gang? It's your boy D-Lo, a.k.a. D-Lo on the Daily, and we're here in Santiago, Dominican Republic. So I've been here for the past month now, hooping in the LDC League, trying to earn this contract. And unfortunately, I haven't really been active on social media because I've just really been focused on, you know, improving my game and trying to perform the best of my ability. But I only have a month left down here, so I'm really trying to, you know, get back into this whole social media thing, trying to be more active. So I want to start vlogging for you guys and give you all an inside look on what it's like trying to hoop in another country. So, um, yeah, I've been down here for a month now. Uh, the season's going okay. It's just, a, it's a big adjustment, you know, because it's a lot different from playing basketball in the States, you know, different rules. But the competition is pr still pretty good. They play really physical, play really fast down here. So it's a big adjustment. I'm thankful for this experience and I've really been enjoying my time down here so far. But, um, yeah, I want to give you a little inside look at what it's like, you know, trying to earn a contract and hoop overseas. So I'm going to start vlogging maybe once or twice a week. I'll try to vlog for you guys and upload some content on my channel. I don't know what I want to call this little vlogging series. But, um, yeah, like I said, we got one more month left in Santiago. So that means we got one more month to really prove to this league and the coaches in this league that we can play basketball at the highest level. So y'all stay tuned, man. This is Road to the DR Vlogs. Yeah. Just called the Uber not too long ago. I think he's down the street. I'm about to head to the gym and watch some of the guys play today since it's Sunday, so it's game day. Not for my team, of course, but the other LDC prospects, we like to go watch, you know, show support. So I'm going to go catch this game today. Got my ball with me in my bag because I'm probably going to go to the park and get some shots up and get some work in because our game is Tuesday against the only undefeated team in this league. So it's a big game for us. So, yeah, so there's the Uber 500 feet away. So we're on our way to the gym right now. Uh, Uber is really the main source of transportation here. Ubers and taxis, unless you have your own vehicle or a moped or a motorcycle, they love those down here. So yeah, we all usually Uber whenever we need to go somewhere, whether it's the gym or the restaurant we go to, we usually just catch an Uber because they're fairly cheap down here. I don't think I made, I don't think I paid more than like $3 and some change for an Uber since I've been down here. So really cheap. But yeah, headed to the gym to watch the guys play. We'll probably head to the restaurant and get some food before we go to the park and get some shots up. Cause I ain't ate today. It's it's noon and I ain't ate nothing. So I need to get some food in me. But yeah, I'll tap back in when I'm at the gym. Headed to the gym, watching the Immortals play the Titans. Two really solid teams in the league. Uh, the Immortals are up by seven, 35, 28, with two minutes left in the second half. First half. So uh, we'll see how this game plays out. So I left the game with about five minutes left in the third quarter. I'm on my way to the war, uh, restaurant right now. It's one o'clock and I ain't ate today, so I want to catch them before they stop serving lunch. But uh, yeah, it's only like half a mile away, so ain't no sense in calling an Uber for that. I'm gonna just walk for 15 minutes and save that couple of dollars. But um, yeah, my camera only got like a little bit of battery power left, so. I ain't gonna show y'all the whole 15 minute walk. I mean, I'm gonna just call them like that. Well, they love the motorcycle down here. But I'm gonna charge my camera when I get to the restaurant. So it started raining on my way to the restaurant. And to make matters worse, when I got there, one of the employees told me they weren't serving lunch today. The restaurant wasn't even open apparently, so I walked in the rain for nothing. So now I'm wet, cold, and hungry. But, um,. I'm in an Uber, headed back to the crib right now. 
I'll probably order some food off of Uber Eats or something and just chill. It doesn't look like we'll be able to go to the park and put in work like we planned on doing today since it's raining right now. So I might just do a little workout at the, at the crib. And uh, yeah, that's it for right now. Ooh, finally came. I've had this place like one time before and it was really good. And I got the same thing I ordered last time. Got the bread. Good garlic bread. Oh my gosh. Just, just, just look at the wings, man. Just, just. Give y'all a little mukbang. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're not cleaning the wings, the meat off your bones, you're not eating these wings right. I'm gonna get up with y'all later. I'm about to tear this food up. Alright, so I had a great nap earlier. And me and bro just pulled up to the restaurant. It's low key all in the spot though. So unfortunately, dinner at Balelo's got cut short tonight due to the weather. It started raining. So me and bro caught an Uber back to the crib. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the day. Uh, it's about 9.30, so yeah, I don't think I'll be leaving the crib anymore tonight. I might go to the store and get something to drink because I'm kind of thirsty. But that's it for the first vlog of this uh, series. I apologize for not really giving y'all much footage of the city. Um, the weather really just kind of messed up my plans for this video. But uh, we still got a month down here, so we'll have plenty of opportunities. I'll have plenty of opportunities to show y'all the city and more of what I do on the basketball side of things. So, um, yeah, this has been the first vlog of the series. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. My name is D-Lo. This is D-Lo The Daily, and we out.